Bonjour, comment allez-vous? It's Team Cycles back with episode number three of the Trendy Podcast. I apologise for my absence. I'm a very busy man, I've got many different fingers in many different pies, you know what I mean? How have we all been? I'm glad. This is being streamed for YouTube for those that have not like that need a visual aid because their attention span is that of a child or a fish like me. My my attention span seems to dive after about ten or fifteen minutes, so I need a visual cue. So you can watch this on on YouTube if you want. Roll the goddamn intro. I don't slang up bang, I just smoke motherfuckers like it ain't no thing. Should we start the podcast by addressing the elephant in the room? That elephant being Tess Holiday. My apologies, that's absolutely disrespectful. We're not even a minute in and we're all... No, that's, I do apologise. But in question, the topic, for those that are completely unaware as to what I'm talking about, recently a £300 five foot American plus size model has been plastered on the front cover of the Cosmopolitan magazine. And half of the world have gone, Yay! Yay! Let's all go and get a bargain bucket at KFC. Because it's great to be fat. And the other half, the sort of sensible people have gone, hmm, this isn't great, is it? This isn't really promoting positive body image. So, I'm, yeah, like I'm usually I'm usually an individual that can see both sides of the argument. Do you know what I mean? So I can sit on Theresa May's bench and go, yes, Prime Minister, completely understand where you're coming from. And then I can scurry along the floor like a little serpent snake and sit next to Corbyn and go, look, I love your allotments. I understand where you're coming from as well. In this situation, I'm finding it very hard to understand how this could be seen as a positive issue or a positive thing. Because if we peel back the politically correct layer that surrounds this issue, we've got an obese woman on the front cover of a magazine. And that is it, isn't it? She's 300 pounds at five foot. So the B, the BMI the BMI is off the chart. It's gone supersonic. It's Elon Musk territory. This BMI. Talking of Elon Musk, I'm pro Elon Musk. Did anyone watch the Did anyone watch the Joe Rogan podcast where he smoked smoked some weed? He didn't even smoke it. He did this for the YouTube audience. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Didn't even inhale it. So. But regardless of the situation, I'm just looking at the computer now. I think he lost 6% in shares on that day or the when it went out. And two executive, two of his executive managers just walked. How pathetic is that? If my boss smoked a joint on a podcast, I'd be applauding him. But I suppose I'm, I'm not politically correct. What are we talking about? Yeah, Tess Holiday. So yeah, her BMI is completely ridiculous. The, the arguments that I seem to be getting into on Facebook, which is probably the worst social media platform to have any arguments on, just it's, it's, it's weird. You can't really delve too deep into Facebook arguments, but the general argument that they, that they I'm saying the, the, the four crowd, are saying is, Tom, how do you know that she's unhealthy? Mm. Mm. I don't need a blood test. To understand that her lipid profile, her cholesterol is probably through the roof. And she's probably a couple of years away from a heart attack. Can you understand where I'm coming from? So I, I propose this argument. You'll like this one. And, and they're speechless. It's good. Would we, as a community, as a world, as a society, as a generation, would we be applauding a size zero model if Cosmopolitan had done this? So if we had a, a size zero, anorexic, we'll go down the stereotypical route of them consuming copious amounts of cocaine because that's generally what they do, these catwalk models, and probably suffer from bulimia because that's what they also do to make themselves throw up and be even more, be even more skinnier. Would, if that came out, what would we do? It would be ridiculous. How dare you, Cosmopolitan? It's a complete outrage. How, this isn't positive. This is... You can understand where I'm coming from. But you go to the other end of the scale, the other end of the spectrum. It's supposed to be a good thing that we've got an obese, because she is. It's supposed to be a good thing that we've got an obese female on the, you know, on the front cover of a magazine. Because we've won. Because we've somehow beaten the, the social media. Which I just think, 
is total bollocks because I despise Piers Morgan due to his continual arse licking of the orange what's it across the pond and his continual arse licking of like Murdoch for example over here but in this situation on this topic he's right in what way is having an obese individual on the front cover of a magazine promoting a positive body image when currently obesity rates, diabetes, heart attacks through obesity are through the roof. How can we how can we put that in a positive light? I've 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 had a conversation with myself I think everyone should have a conversation with themselves if they're on their own. It's very good. It it just everyone should speak to themselves at one point or another. I spoke to myself and I thought Is it really a good thing? And I suppose it is. And I sort of went down the route of if she's happy, then I'm happy. Because generally, and as us as humans, we should strive for eternal happiness and complete content with our own life. But then it just kept, like I was in some weird vortex because I was trapped because I had this continual thought of no time she's fat. And then other fat people in in the world are going to look at that and go, yes, I can look like that. Get more donuts in because Tess has done it and now it's acceptable to be fat. Like obesity's great, yeah. So I'm, um, I'm still a bit, I'm sort of on the f- side of the fence where I'm. This is positive. Well done for coming out there. Sort of, fuck the social media whores that have got their ass out and have photoshopped their abs and they look perfect. Well done for getting up there, in your true beauty. But at the same time, I'm sort of looking at the deeper issue, which is the obesity, and this shouldn't be a positive thing. That's my two cents on the situation. It will be very interesting to have a conversation with individuals on YouTube, probably the second worst place to have an argument because you end up getting an argument with JX011 with no profile who said he's going to come and find you and kill you. That's about it for the YouTube, I think. Tell me your thoughts. I'll be interested to hear. Thank you, good night, much love. Oh, you're so hard, aren't you? Vaping CBD. You're so cool. If you enjoyed that episode of the Trendy Podcast or that snippet, then click the link below. You can listen to the full episode via the power of the podcast in the ears. Enjoy it.